Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? We are back with another episode of RK. We're hopping into episode eight. Guys, I just came fresh off of episode seven. So for all my Patreon people, you know what's good, all right? The momentum is flowing. We are bringing it into episode eight. And so all my people who aren't on the Patreon and just watching this on YouTube, apologies for me coming off as very 100 at the moment. But episode seven from Arcane was just... Uh... <laughs> It was so good, dog. It was good. It's like one of those things where it's like, bro, just take the award, man. Take the award. Take the trophy you guys won. You guys deserve all the praise. Man, I love that episode. There were so many things that were just so well done, but the vibe of it, the vibe with the music selection, with some of the, 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 the fight scenes, and as well as with the homie Echo coming. Get, come on, dog. Like, Echo came back like a boss, bro. Like, this dude came through and was like, bro, I've grown up. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's really cool, man. And I don't know, like, I hope both, by the way, are good. Um, we kind of left off from episode seven with a giant explosion. Echo was giving Jinx the hands. And, you know, I mean, dude, they're childhood friends. So obviously, you know, delivering that final blow is going to be extremely difficult, um, especially since they grew up together. Um, and then, you know, Jinx let out that giant explosion. Hopefully both of them are okay. But if my man Echo is hurt, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm probably gonna dislike Jinx. <laughs> I'm just I'm just probably gonna do that. I don't know. I just, you know, I just rather have them be friends. But we're gonna see what episode eight has to offer. Like always, guys, if you wanna be able to support your boy, the best way to do it is through Patreon. You guys know the drill with that. Early access gang. This is all we do, you know. Um, if you want to be able to support the channel without doing the Patreon, just leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And again, if you can leave a like. It'll be dope. It really does help out the channel and it really does motivate the community to just bring forth new episodes and TV shows and all types of really good stuff for y'all. So if you want to be able to support the channel, again, those two options are great. But you can also do another one. At the very least, I want you to just be able to sit back, relax, grab your popcorn and snacks. Maybe you're with a homie. Maybe you got your girl with you. I don't know what your life is about, but I just want you to know that whatever it is, I just want you to vibe as we hop right back into Arcane Episode 8. Ooh, we're getting closer and closer to the finale, man. That makes me a little sad, but I don't know. Like, they could go anywhere with this. This is this is League of Legends, man. Like, <laughs> they, can, they can go, they can do anything with this. This is like, they have a roster the size of Marvel, I think. Probably not as big, actually, but you get the point. Ilya of Statecraft. Your brother thinks he can talk his way out of anything. He fancies himself a fox among the wolves, but mark me, child. If you want to Woo, whoever she is, she is a problem. You see the guns, the, the contour bro. Looks like Spartacus. She's a symbol of the old regime. <laughs> Kill her now. Only one must die. What the heck? Oh my god. What branch are you from, man? God, you see the life. Oh, my goodness, bro. I mean, <laughs> you're not really a, 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 a wolf if you chop off innocent people's heads, but that's insane. You see how it faded into the background picture that she has? That was the painting she was working on, too. I think I also didn't get a chance to say this, by the way, because I know stuff is going to get a little bit crazier. So I wanted to say this here. Um, but the way they drew her character, uh, especially, you know, black characters, especially female black characters, they did her so much justice, I personally think. Wow. And... It we got Silco over here showing emotion. I mean, we know he truly cares about her because he 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 understands. He relates with her. <sighs> v, I don't know how you're gonna get your sister back. I mean, she tried to she tried to throw hands twice now. You know what I'm saying? But if that was my sister, and I relate because I am an older brother myself, I'm not giving up. Are you kidding me? I'm not giving up. 
Like, that's, that's family. <laughs> and if not, then it's definitely going to have to be through my hands. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm the one that has to go to that edge, then I will be the person to push them off the edge. <laughs> no one else is going to do that. It's just me. But as of right now, nah. I'm not giving up. Wow, forgot he passed away. Wow, that's really sad. The last words he asked was, can you tell my daughter? Like the way they, they even showed the blood dried on the floor because it's been a few hours is the way it's stained on there was beautiful. Who lives here? Another counselor friend of yours? <laughs> Damn, she was ready to she was ready to go off with the hammer, bro. I'm sure our daughter could use some rest after her adventures. This is such a a oh, wild family dynamic conversation right here. She's getting her 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 leg stitched up and just having a whole family gathering right now. It's, it's pretty tough. I like it. She can take it. And before I begin, I must know. Are you prepared to lose her? <laughs> oh man, it's like I'm getting like comparisons to when with that little weird gecko he would have and he would just keep experimenting and won't let it die and it's like dude please get to your point you run the tight ship don't you except it's not your ship it's his too and jinx i love this man like when i see this i just feel like this is what cyberpunk 27 7 could have been and that hurts me because this is gorgeous and these characters are so awesome with their cool tech satisfied with his performance there's bigger fish than zirko where i want them to show themselves because <laughs> i'm in love with this world that i'm in yeah that looks like someone who can probably take over an entire city yep she looks <laughs> she looks like she does an f around try to ingratiate yourself with me mel or that It's kind of cool seeing their dynamics play with each other. It's it's really dope. She just said her brother's gone. She just dropped it out of no. What? War isn't our first and every recourse. I sponsored Hextech to protect the city, not burn it to the ground. It's not conjecture. Damn, everybody has great intentions, but they somehow get pulled by other people who used to have great intentions, but now don't. It's just such a cycle of just self-inflicted poison Humble the local cuisine i don't know man i got a feeling that that sight is something that i don't want to even conjure in my head with venom for ooze and i would say well, i'm a slug eating crap with razor spikes you guys are like one scene away from pot like potentially making out, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna throw anything out there. I'm just gonna watch. <laughs> Woo! Meanwhile, <laughs> Jinx is getting fucking tortured. So sorry, Your sister is Jinx. Yo, she is going to be angry, and I feel so bad for her, man. Get worse. Yo, man. That is just so tragic. That is very terrible, man. That is so terrible. That was so bad, he had to put him under con un un unconscious. That is crazy, man. How is something so bad? You give you have to put the person that took you there un unconscious, man. That hurts, man. That hurts my heart. 
I love how Heimdinger is just like out here acting as if he is not <laughs> one foot tall and extremely vulnerable in a place where you could just get got. I feel so sad for him. I feel sad for a lot of people in this in this show. <laughs> Failure. What makes this the city of progress is that we keep trying until we get it right. So thank you for your advice, Mrs. Medarda. Woo, I'm seen. happy he's talking. But I'm afraid she's going to clap back. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, we actually saw everything. I wasn't expecting that. I fear you'll end up like General Parlek, slaughtered with your eyes closed. Damn. Damn, yo, she's... Don't fall into it, man. Keep doing your thing. But it is really intimidating to have her in your ear saying that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Even if we wanted to invade, they have Shimmer. We have Hextech. What happened to you? We've been talking Damn. about talking. Yeah, she's been out for a minute, and then she's back seeing him, and he's talking about war, man. Did you learn nothing? You can't talk to him. He hates you. Everything you stand for. Yeah, right? He's going to abuse you. Like, are you kidding me? Why are you guys negotiating with terrorists, man? Uh-oh, that boy moving. That boy moving. Look at him. Yeah. Look at that form. Go ahead, bro. Damn. Go ahead, bro. Damn. All right, dog. Damn. Okay. Golly. Oh, he's picking up speed. Oh, man. He was using bolting for a little bit. Very, very bad. Oh, no. Everything you do inspires me. He's like... Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Bro, she literally just got vaporized. Oh, my God, dog. Ugh. Oh, God. I knew it was going to be bad, but it just I didn't know it was going to be that bad. Yeah. I want to make Silco pay. I want in. There is no in. Whoa. You heard the council. Fuck the oh, man. Oh, she said after council. Let's do this ourselves, man. No, you're a victim. Oh, bruh. She got it back. <laughs> Yo. Shut down his supply, and it's only a matter of time before his own people turn on him. And how do we do that? Take out his manufacturing facilities. Oh, trust me, they're already planning on doing something like that, but it's actually Jinx that's doing that. <laughs> Crapped his whole pants. I could tell he, he crapped his pants on that one. Bro. What on earth are those things? What the hell is that? Did you see how fast they were running? Oh, hell no. Nah. Nah, what the hell is that? Oh, brother, man. Oh, my God. Yo, these things don't F around, man. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I got chills. Yo, that was crazy. Clock that thing. I don't even know what that is. Oh my god, man. Dude, guys, I keep forgetting that this has action in it. <laughs> the story is so good. I forget that this is this this is more of like an action thing. Oh, 
Bro, let's go, Jace. Damn it, it's nice to see you doing something. Instead of listening to other people, man. Ah. Woo! Yep, there you go. Give her the freaking four-piece chicken wing Popeye's biscuit with the mashed potatoes and gravy on the side. Don't forget the damn Coke, baby. That was crazy. Oh my god, yo! This is fire, man. They're both they're both dope. I'm over here drooling and sh The kid shouldn't have been there. I'll be <laughs> The kid shouldn't have been there. I mean, if all that stuff is popping off, hit the decks. Don't get in the way of that thing, man. But yeah, that's sad. That's very unfortunate. Yeah, man, you're doing something. You're taking you're taking action. Now now be the leader you came here to be, man. You can do this, Jace. Woo! Soundtrack is just going so hard right now. Woo! The music, man, it's swelling me right now. I'm so excited to just listen to the soundtrack. I told myself I can't listen to it until I'm, I'm done it all. Oh God, is Jenks there? Oh no, please, God, no. <gasps> ah, shit. Ah. Well, that was the end of episode eight. Oh boy. All right, everybody, we just got done episode eight of Arcane. Um, yeah, that last that last scene is just not what I was expecting and not what I truthfully, I'll be honest with you, I truthfully did not want to uh, see. <laughs> it's it's a, it's one thing uh, to note when, you know, you see someone tagging a place, right? <laughs> like, I see Jinx tag and... or his signature and I immediately uh quote unquote uh shit bricks you know <laughs> like this is this is bad like I was so I so want Kate and Vi to just like be like this you know but damn Jinx Jinx got worked on man she got worked on and I'm afraid that she's probably just way too gone I think she's just way too gone to the point where I don't know. It's uh, like it reminds me of uh, you know, the film "One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest." Jack Nicholson's character, right, where the sense of freedom is like all he has, right, and, you, and all you have is here. But it's like when you start messing with this, and we've seen that happening, where you know Jinx's innocence, you know, who what made Jinx who she was, slowly being. Um, just broken down, beat down with the tragedy from earlier in the episodes where everybody basically died because of her. Um, and just the years of being with Silco. And I think now, after being worked on by that creepy weirdo scientist guy, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm scared. Jinx, is, Jinx was already off the hinge, man. She was like already Harley Quinn level prior to you know being uh dissected into but yeah that's that's scary that's scary i'm scared for her and i'm also now very intensely scared for kate who i who i i, I love her character is incredible so ah uh, we're gonna see next episode season finale y'all all right so i love y'all stay uh, ooh, stay <laughs> i almost <laughs> say healthy well yeah seriously stay healthy <laughs> i'm happy you guys should stay healthy but stay uh stay healthy and hydrated because we are just getting started <laughs> purple jacket pocket full of weed everything that i should ever need grab some matches because they give them free just like my time Pull back in the backseat